hello everybody how are you today so in today's video i'm going to show you how we created a solution in power bi in just one day believe it or not so first of all hack for sweden uh, hack for sweden is a, an event that runs once a year maybe now it will run a little bit more often but it is an initiative uh, that started with the swedish government and uh, it, it says uh, on the web page that is about sustainability and creating real tools for the good of our society using open data that they provide so open data that the swedish government provides to to the general public for their use um they had uh, six different areas that they want us to work on and the idea was you pick one of these areas so business sector environment health labor education science or mobility and then you create a solution with the data that they provide or that third parties provide so there was also commercial companies there offering their services and help just for that day so it was it started actually on a thursday evening and then it was friday and then it was you, you presented everything on saturday morning basically so the actual hacking it was basically one day believe it or not so the team B3 Squadra, you have them here. They actually uh, applied for it, you know, during the challenge. They got accepted and they called me. Then I said, Ruth, would you like to come? And I said, absolutely, that would be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we just went there and started coding. So I want to show you what we actually came up with, the actual solution that we delivered to them. We didn't win, there is a contest and you can win prizes and support and all kinds of stuff. Um, we didn't win, but we did something very, very cool and I want to show you. So this is our solution. We work for the labor market and what we started, what we wanted to do in the beginning, we realized during the hack that it might not be possible so we just changed the the solution a little bit so what we wanted to do it was using open data from the swedish government agencies uh, to create at the beginning you know the idea for this hack for sweden is how do we get sweden 4.0 and we were thinking okay but to be able to get sweden 4.0 you have to have people that can actually you know have the skills to actually make it happen so we wanted to look into the labor market and the, to the trends what is the need where is it going to be in you know in the future and what is people studying and we'll be able to get enough people to do sweden 4.0 what we realized obviously is that you can study psychology and then work with data or you can study i don't know be a teacher and then work in mcdonald's if you want i mean you, you can do anything your education does not determine what you do at the end and that correlation does not exist so we need to change it the game plan a little bit so what we decided to do is how about we do a guide for students as to how the labor market looks like and what are their options so they can make the right decision already from the get-go okay so that's exactly what we did and we did the guide obviously in power bi where else so <laughs> this is what we did we got data from the employment office this is uh, this arvis vermilion and there we've got the um the jobs that were available we've got from scb uh, the trends for the future you know what types of job is the Swedish government expect to have a high increase or low in decrease depending on you know how society evolves and then we've got also um, where what you can study where okay so we did that it took in, in day one at the end of Thursday on the, the, you know Thursday evening we decided this is what we're going to do kind of and then on Friday, that's when, you know, the hack actually started. So we started creating these and this is how it works. So you're a student, you now have to take a decision of what you want to study, you know, for the university. So you go into your guide and you say, okay, what do you want to do? Let's go to, into the future. Let's look at what the possibilities are. So the first thing we want them to do is 
okay if you already know you can actually pick a profession if you more often than not you have a wish i would like to be a doctor or i would like to be a you know i don't know a, a programmer or a gamer or whatever it is so if you already know you could pick it here and if there is you know you don't want to move you you know i definitely want to do it in stockholm or in Vesteros or whatever it is you could also pick it here so now i have, I have picked profession system test is like a system test like a test um, professional you know testing system and the region is in stockholm that per this student does not want to move he lives in stockholm wants to live in stockholm fine so okay let's start the guide so this is the future trends for that type of job for system test in stockholm so here you can see region stockholm down there and then you can see if it is light blue it means that there were no trends available just for that job but uh, on, on you know on this part up here so this is notelia you know in in this uh, municipality within stockholm's um, region but here you know stockholm holding a boot circle and in other region or in other municipalities within that region uh, there is very little competition it means that if you are going to apply for a job there is very little competition there's very few people that are actually searching for that job at the same time as you so that your chances to get a job are actually very very good so this is a good job to learn or, or, or to apply to if you have the skills now here is the trend uh, for how it is today and how it is in one year for today was not available one year from now you see that it continues being very high this is zero to five and it continues to be very very high there was data about five years from now which is probably what you want because you know studies take like zero to five years so obviously you want to know when you finish your studies how is it going to be but unfortunately when we did this we did not find data by region for five years we just find it for the entire sweden but i'm sure there is we just didn't have the time to, to search more but you will be able to see okay when i finish my studies will it still be a hot profession to have or not you, you could see it here if we had the data so okay now i know how how the trend it is for the future for just a specific profession so how does the job look like do you know how many jobs there are so here you can see today this is at the day this was refreshed which was two weeks ago is there were 76 job ads in stockholm region which is amazing and then you can see six to seven it was on the stockholm municipality six on solna so the telia naka so it is a good profession to have and then you can see okay you know there are people that would like to work for specific companies say i want to work for adb or i want to work for google or microsoft so you can see here the type of companies that are actually offering the the different jobs in case you know there's something that interests you for example here we have scania that is a very well-known company in the world so you can see oh is it a consulting company or is it like normal company so who is hiring you have it and then okay now you know more or less who is hiring and uh, you know the demand for it so you can continue and say okay what are the skills needed for that job so what we did oh i don't know why <laughs> it should show all the jobs she's not showing all the jobs so probably here no it's not showing all the jobs hmm weird okay let's look at it in power bi here who is hiring there you have it i don't know what is wrong with it but here you can see the 79 jobs the titles and then you can see what are the words that pop up the most for example one of the things that it does is experience and erfarenhet which is experience in sweden in swedish so they normally want to have people that have some years of experience but you know now that there are not a lot of people looking for jobs so you're going to find a job either way they'll train you if you want to get this job for sure um 
test team experience consultant so you get a feeling of okay what do they want what are they looking for and once you know that it's like, oh, it seems like something that interests me still where can you study this and here you have i think that's not correct either i know it is you know Hmm. So here you have the schools where you can study that. And if you don't want to leave Stockholm, well, then you shouldn't do that because there is no school in Stockholm that teaches that. Okay, so maybe you have to pick something else. So this was actually our solution for uh, Hack for Sweden. And again, we started it on Friday morning, nine o'clock, and then, okay, we finish it like three four in the morning but still I, I think it was a it was a lot a lot of fun so if you are an, an agency a governmental agency i really recommend you to do something like this it was really really good they came out a lot of good solutions and then you can implement or or not but it doesn't matter it's, it's just a great learning opportunity so i will Published it somewhere and let <laughs> you and the, um, put the link down below in case you want to play with it. And uh, yeah, that was our solution. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you again on Friday with another Dax Writers. Until then, take care. Bye.